people don't know this, I, I play, I do puppets in all the sets that we play. That's where I play at. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The old you, River Billy. I thought you played with the Brady. No, that and Brendan's Billiards. Brendan's Billiards in Fairview Heights. Starship Star Billiards, that's on out of Springfield. You got the Breaks, and then you got uh, Breakers Billiards, which is Collinsville. That might have been on there. Was it 30 tables? Back when it was like, the only place that had maybe like, a ton of tables was Brennan's Billiards. Like, they had Fairview Heights and Fairview Heights. That might have been where it was. That was your school. Oh, hell. That's what my dad liked to go. He liked to. Like I'm telling you, like they'd have like on a Sunday night, Dan Hill. Sunday night they would get sixty four tables to play the one thing. And Gary Lovin and Red Hawk would open that one place every Sunday. You know that Gary Lovin like they opened that one place over there. Uh, what was it? The Lake House or whatever. That's an old place. Right? That's like, yeah, right that's there. Maryville. It's yeah. just close. Yeah. yeah. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Starting a little bit early today. We have a ladies' match to kick the weekend off, or the afternoon off, I suppose. Kathy Ogile on the left, playing Jessica Barnett on the right. They're lagging for the break, and it's a extended USAM format. So what that means is basically they're going to play six games at eight ball, and then they'll play nine ball until somebody gets a total score of nine. It looks like Kathy won the lag. They're racking their own. I've never seen uh, Jessica play, so this will be a little bit of a learning experience. We've seen Kathy on the stream before. She's come in and uh, she played Les Simmons in her first match. Afternoon, Cliff. And they played the same format, and it was a lot of fun. Jeff's taking Kathy. Okay. All right. Let's see uh, Kathy's break here. Sorry, I'm just uh, replying to a couple messages real quick. Yeah, this should be a lot of fun. You have a couple other players in the wings. There might be a game happening elsewhere. Uh, we also have another ladies' match after this, uh, later this evening. Kanika Neal will be playing um, Patricia. And I'm not going to try to pronounce her last name because uh, I'm going to get it wrong. Let's 
So it might be a little something of a ladies' night here. We'll see how it goes. Now with this format, I I think it's take what you make in the eight ball section. Um, I don't remember. Jessica is from the Illinois side of the area. Kathy is from the Missouri side. So it looks like Jessica overcuts the nine and gets started. She didn't really hit that many balls before uh, before they started, but she said you know, she plays on diamonds frequently, so she didn't have to really get used to the tables, whereas Kathy mostly plays out of Kenny's. So uh, she's used to valleys, so uh, she did hit a few more balls to get warmed up. Okay, she gets that stripe to fall in. Not really a great starting position here. Like the 15 doesn't really help her be in there. Like it doesn't block anything for Jessica. So I feel like if you're going to go for it, you could try and fire that bank in. It might squeeze by the one. Um, you could slice it into the corner or the side. And with that nine ball hanging, that's not a bad insurance ball. You also have the 10 down there as another one if you don't get an angle on that one. So if she comes up a little short. But Jessica's got problems with solids too. The uh, three ball down there next to the 12, I think that is. It's a bit of a problem. And I don't know if the four ball has a great hole. Well, the four goes in the sides, but we'll see how it goes. So how's everybody doing? Oh, I missed a bunch of comments. What's up? Hey, Greg, are you coming back in uh, sometime between now and... Well, you got a match coming up in a couple of weeks, I heard. Speaking of Patricia, Patricia just walked in. She's uh, a few hours early for her match. Afternoon, Tyler. What's the match? Um, so like the USAM format, you mean? Afternoon, Tom. Doing well. I uh, I snuck out of here a little bit early last night to get some sleep, and I did. I slept like almost nine hours, and it felt amazing. That would have been really nice if Jessica were able to dump that nine ball. And Kathy over there, that would have been great. Uh, so the USAM format is basically, uh, they're starting with six games of eight ball. And then they'll play nine ball until somebody gets to a total score of nine racks one. So it's kind of a mixed race format. Oh, sounds good, Greg. Yeah, I was just uh, for the flyer and stuff for your match with um, I'm blanking on the guy's name, Jordan. Um, I just need to get a if I, I if I haven't already got a picture of you, I need to get a picture to put on the flyer. That's all. But yeah, you say if anybody's ever played APA Masters. Uh, USAM is essentially the same format. Um, so it's kind of a mix of eight ball and nine ball, and then you know you kind of do one, then the other, however you want to work it out. Yeah. 
Whoops. Oh no. Oh, double whammy there. All right, so with ball in hand here, what kind of pattern are we looking at? I think I want to get that six out of there. Yeah, I think she agrees as well. And then everything else, it's kind of like a drill, right? That, that one, three, four, you got right in the middle of the table. If anybody's ever ran those small position drills, that's a real common layout. Um, good job negotiating that traffic. Take the two, and then get on the three in the side, maybe one in the side, four in the corner, perhaps. Uh, maybe a little short there. I think now you take the one in the corner, I would think. Oh, Chris Collins and uh, Joe Cisneros just walk in. We're filling up early already. Holy cow. Oh, though she had the four straight in. Nice. Good stop shot. I think I maybe would have wanted to roll a couple inches forward from there just to give myself a little bit better angle on the one. Oh, Jimmy and Colby walk in too. I'm like already like, da -da -da -da. I'm like hey, so I seen this on Facebook the other day. You guys are gonna like it. You guys know this guy? Yeah, he like it's up on pool. Yeah, it's like Colby's like brother. Like brother. I'm telling you, it's Colby's yeah. brother. Okay. It totally does. I mean, I'm all right, I had to step away for just a minute, take care of some stuff. I'm guessing she missed the one, considering it's still on the table, and now uh, Kathy... Little, she's got a little uh, position drill here with this 13 ball. I don't think it goes by the five. She's kind of spent nicely done. And it looks like the eight will go under the five into that corner as we look. So we should be okay. What's up, Colby? I just seen your uh, your twin. No. Yeah. Much prettier than that person. I don't know. You guys are pretty similar. Come on. What's up? I got to be nice to you. Afternoon, Richard. So the USAM format is uh, mixed eight ball and nine ball. It's a race to nine total score. They're playing six games of eight ball, and then they'll play nine ball until somebody gets to nine. So that's how the USAM format works. If anybody's ever played the APA Masters format, uh, it's basically the same thing. All right, looks like uh, Colby and Daniel and Chris and Ronnie might get into a doubles game up there, it looks like. So you might hear some hooting and hollering at some point. That's going to happen from time to time. Bill Harwell's here. Got the whole crew. Oh, 
Uh, no, so they're just playing six games of eight ball. So it could be six zero, it could be five one, it could be three three. But after the sixth game of eight ball, then they will switch to nine ball and finish the race to nine. All right, so I can't think it's a couple balls open. Doesn't get anything to fall. Jessica's looking at an open table. She's got choices. Both suits have problems. What's up, Billy? How you doing? Ah, hanging in there. You're going to get yourself mixed up in that rowdy circus going on in the front half? <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Ronnie. You want to break? You want me to? Hey, yeah, play nine ball or eight ball? Eight, eight ball. What you Twenty bucks a play in a game. Play nine ball. It's an interesting form. Like if you've never played APA or been around the APA Masters League or you know uh, the US Amateur Tour, or anything like that. Like I think that's the only place where I've seen this mixed format race. So it, it is neat, right? Because some players like to play eight ball. Some players only want to play nine ball, and vice versa. And this way, you kind of come to the middle of both. And uh, there's different strategies involved, you know, with the two games. You guys all know that. Like the match we have later tonight, for example, uh, Kanika and Patricia, like they're playing, but I think they're just playing nine ball. But they came in and sparred the other night, and they played split sets, right? They played one set of eight ball, one set of nine ball. And they each won one format, and like by a, a good margin. So. Uh, you know, the format really makes a difference for some players. What's up, Quentin? It's awfully early for you to be up and barking in the chat. Quentin's looking for a little uh, one pocket action. We got any one pocket players out there that wants to play a stone cold champion that misses the seven ball all the time? You might be able to find a little action. It is true, Q. You can't just pop in at like nine o'clock and be like, "Hey, uh, who wants to do something?" By nine o'clock, everybody's all wrapped up, man. You got to get in there. Oh, whoops. A paper and pen. Uh, I don't, I don't slide back cut on the 15 which might should come with a reward if she can get through the traffic a little bit if she's okay here take the nine then shoot the 10 13 combo so you want to make sure that you hit the seven flush if you hit it at all she didn't good she might have so this is an interesting thing I'm pretty sure actually let me make sure so I think she can actually shoot this ball in the lower left as we look
right? Like down straight through there. I think she can shoot the 10 that way. Maybe use the 12 to hold her cue ball for the 14. That would be uh, that would be great if she could. She sees it now. Just don't get tied up. Oh, she might. Uh... Okay, that's on deposit. That one's on layaway, as they like to say. Now Kathy's going to try and figure out this rack here. Yeah, Tom, <laughs> that was that was funny timing, right? The stream is not on out in the room, so they can't uh, they can't see what I'm drawing back here. Yeah, I don't see any harm in her taking that four ball at this point. Like the eight ball basically goes everywhere. Oh, she didn't need to come all the way up here, though. This makes her run out much tougher. Say if she can uh, clean up the six and the seven and then get, like, straight-ish on the three. Then she can solve those balls over there. Now, this is not bad, though. She uh, separated out those balls. The two still goes in the corner. And she kept Jessica from shooting that 10 ball easily. Now, when Jessica makes this 10, if she makes it, she's got a chance of moving that six, which is good for Kathy. She moves it a little bit, made it not quite as terrible. Nobody likes shooting that ball close to the side rail or side pocket like that. Afternoon, Justin. Um, so he's still moving a table in the other shop. He's not here, but Colby is. And uh, if you want to come down here and do that, that'd be great. And look at that. Quentin's barking right at you. How can you and Quentin play, man? That would be a lot of fun. Let's get that set up. Also, I heard, apparently I got a... Apparently I heard uh, you had a, an interesting evening last night. Not really going to bring it all up and all that stuff, but if you do come in, man, I want to. I want to hear what happened. <laughs> Get him, Quinn. Eleven six, he says. Well, I can already hear. I can hear Quentin from down here. Thanks, Jimmy. I can hear Quentin from down here talking about ball for a champion. Wait, which ones are which? Okay. Okay. Sweet. I can't believe you still deal with that guy. That's hilarious. Hey, right, Kathy got decent on the six. A little close to her work. But if she can make it, I'd really like her to draw this ball back a little bit for the three. And yeah. My hope was that she, if she drew it back and got like somewhere here, right, a little bit further away from the 14, because then uh, Jessica would have a little bit tougher shot. That that might be asking a lot. So with this ball by the side pocket, it's still she did well. I mean, 
It's easy enough to make the 14. You're just not guaranteed a shot on the 8 afterwards. So that'll be the trick. And if you slice it in the side, you got a sweat hitting the 8 and moving it. Oh, wow. She reversed that ball quite a lot. Yep, she got goofy. Now the six ball that Kathy hung is kind of safe. Well, I'm not going to say it's saving her necessarily, but. I wonder if she can be accurate enough to play the eight off the point into the six and then into the pocket. Right? Like force the backboard shot from there instead of trying to like squeeze it by the six or follow it in after the six. I don't like that. Let's see what she's going at here. Oh, she might be tying up the two ball. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, apparently he shut down the stream, I guess, uh, shortly after I left. Which means I just missed you guys. I'm kind of glad I left because I needed some sleep. But I also really wanted to stick around to see if that was happening. Afternoon, Jojo. So I don't know if Kathy has this in her repertoire. She's looking to go forward, right, to put the two here. But I think from there, I just like drawing it back. It's pretty natural to just kind of soft draw the spot. There you go. I like that a lot better. Then you can play the two on the side. The only thing you got to do is sweat moving the eight straight onto the rail. You're right, though. I did hit him pretty bad. Oh, I didn't see what happened. No, I did. I did hit him really clean. Yeah, good. Yeah, and see if she can avoid the eight. That's even better. Nice shot. Nicely done. Fernick, I keep telling you, man, just bring that paperwork up here because you're just going to spend time with us anyway. All right, she's being very diligent here. Good focus, good focus. Oh. Uh, I have no idea if she's actually qualified for you, Sam. I just know that that's the format that they kind of like. Um, you know, Kathy and Les played that last time, and then she really likes the format. You know, they get to play both games, and that way nobody has a you know, a big advantage in the game. Oh, wow. Nice shot from Jessica. Nicely done. Come on, Quentin. You got a game up there. Justin says right there, 11-6. I bet if you ask real nice, though, you, you might be able to uh, get 12-6. But you got to ask real nice. And the reason it's a, an extended USAM is I think USAM only goes to seven, like total match score. I think. Twelve five, thirteen five. Oof. I don't know, man. That's on you guys. I like to see the negotiations. And the funny thing is, I can hear Justin now. I can hear his fuck. Yeah, okay. There's the other one he says sometimes. <laughs> All right, the first time seeing Jessica break. Uh, she got into him pretty good. She got a bunch of balls open. She did come up dry, though. Eight balls kind of buried with two solids. 
Um, not a hundred percent sure which suit I like immediately. You, you would assume that stripes would be the play, except that that stripe behind the eight's problematic, which maybe you can move with either the nine or the 14. Gee, yeah, there's that one too. <laughs> Do the right thing. <laughs> That's awesome. There it is. 7.30. Justin says he'll be here at 7.30 sharp. Now, you guys in the chat, you want to start a pool? Justin, we love you, but uh, 7.30 sharp, I think, means something different to you than it does to other people. Who wants to start an over-under on Justin getting here at 7.30? I love it. Dan New is in the house. So we got a we got a line for seven fifty from Joseph on uh on Justin's arrival. Dan New, what's up? I don't even have my smooth radio voice on. Look at this two league operators in the chat at the same time. And they're not fighting. I love it. Slow work, but getting done. You guys, I'm telling you, you guys need to figure out a way to automate that stuff. If every team used electronic scoreboards, it would all just be entered into the system. You wouldn't have to try and read people's handwriting or the tick marks or the eraser marks or the scratches or any of that stuff. Welcome to the 21st century. Come on. I know you guys are working on it. It's so funny. Quentin, did you just see that video with Billy and uh, Rob? Man. What a fiasco. Okay, Jessica makes contact but doesn't get a rail, so that's going to be a thing. Yeah, we don't, I mean... It really is bad PR for pool, so I don't really want to dwell on it. But at the same time, like, pool players gossip like a sewing circle. So uh, we're all going to know about it. All right, so with ball in hand, solids. Like, to me, the table says that the seven ball is the bigger problem ball, and I would start with that one, unless it passes the 15. If it passes the 15, then it's no issue, but camera looks like it doesn't, so I would be a little worried about that. I'm glad you're not stuffing envelopes anymore, but sending in a photo of the score sheet still doesn't make it electronically enterable, unless, of course, you've got an automated... A, uh, I forgot the name of that little piece of software that'll interpret the photo, you know, pull stuff out. Good afternoon, Autumn. When are you going to get yourself one of these games? I know you play a little. Well, 
my doubles match is already getting rowdy, and it's not even 4 o'clock, but that's what happens when you get Ronnie Hansen and Daniel Hill and Colby in the same game. OCR, thank you. I haven't had to deal too much with uh, OCR type software, graphics software. From a programming standpoint, I mean. Oh, nice shot on the two from Kathy there. She hit that real nice, clean, good cue ball. Still got to figure out what that, where that seven ball is going. You can use the four to get under the seven, shoot the seven down table where she's shooting in the six or the, one of those two. So good job there. Afternoon, James. Sometimes things get uh, a little rowdy, but everyone's friendly here, right? Nobody's angry yet. Also, it's too early for anybody to be quite that intoxicated, so I hope it doesn't happen. It looks like it, like it, it's that goofy angle where like the camera says it doesn't, but it's still close. But, yeah. So, yeah, she did an excellent job. Excellent job. Oh, no. Oh. Don't like hearing about bad news. That's no good. Yeah, it went, went through pretty nicely. Any matches for a handicapped person? Um, depending on the handicap, yeah, I'm sure. Um, we do have a, a player that comes in from time to time. He's uh, wheelchair bound. I think he's like a five-ish. Plays pretty decent. We call him, uh, well, you know, he likes being called wheels for obvious reasons. That was a really nice out. Yeah, no, James, we don't want any part of that. Um, we do our very best to uh, handle that situation before it gets anywhere near there. Um, it doesn't matter what the action is. This is a small little place, and everybody knows everybody here for the most part, and uh, we, just don't, we just don't really stand for that. Hey Irvin, I think uh, we have a we there, there's actually I um what is this guy's name? There's a guy that he came in a little bit ago. He's local; people know him. Um, but yeah, he doesn't. Uh, he's he's missing, I think three fourths of at least one arm, and he plays in a in a similar fashion. <laughs> Justin, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, what's up, Joe? OK. 
Okay, so with solids here, I know the camera lies to me a bit, but I'm pretty sure that six ball doesn't go into either corner. Well, don't block the side. That's one of the only places it goes. Oh, damn, Mark. <laughs> Oh, Joe, you can come back. I mean, if you're actually listening, you can just come on back, poke your head in, man. That's fine. Billy must be rooming with Nick. Good Lord. I can't wait to get this story. Uh oh. Where did Kathy land on this? Oh, did they, James? That's good to hear. I mean, and that makes sense. I mean, those guys have played each other probably, you know, 20 times or more. You know, Sias is kind of in the Midwest area. Thorpe is obviously from the Midwest area. Like, there's no way that they haven't done anything. No, I didn't see that before, so I don't know exactly how much truth there is to the racking issue that spawned the uh, the video. But it can be a little weird when tables are racking funny, man. I really think you should just, especially for something like that, just rack your own or get a neutral racker. Like, if you don't trust the guy to rack his own rack without trying to fudge it in such a way that you know whatever, don't don't make the nine count on the break. Get a neutral racker or something like that. Like, there's no reason to get, you know, trying to think of a fancy word, but it's too early. There's no reason to get in a fight over the rack. I mean, geez. You're not playing well, and it's not, the, it's not necessarily the racker's fault that you're not playing well. All right, let's see, Kathy got herself stuck in a little bit thing here. So here's where your safety play comes in a bunch, right? Should probably just move the 11 into this mess and lock the cue ball right up on the six. Right? I mean, it gets you out of the inning, and I don't know you want to blast that a little bit. I think you're probably, at this point, you're just going to be moving with each other a little bit. And uh, so small motions. No shit. Did they really break even after all that? Brendan, you got yourself a game. Bergman's coming. He wants you and Colby. Oh, did I say Kathy when I was talking about Jessica's shot? I'm sorry. Sometimes I do get distracted when I'm reading the chat and just looking at the table and not really paying attention to who's actually standing next to the table. I just look at the uh, layout of the table. <laughs> so Jessica has a situation here with these two balls on the rail. Right oh, wow, she can see that whole ball. Nicely done. She's going to get... Well, the way that six ball is hanging, she might be able to make that 11 off the six.
No, it's no worries. I'm uh, I'm bound to make some mistakes from time to time. Especially if I'm trying to keep an eye on the rest of the room and the chat and uh, returning messages on the phone and everything else. So it's going to happen. Okay, well, that kick is probably going to cost her the game. It's a pretty elementary out from here. This is a fast table. Um, the rails are real springy. The bed isn't quite as fast as the rails, but uh, they do roll. It makes uh, if anybody's used to playing on slow tables or big tables, it can it can make getting the position you want a little tricky. Um, I know Jessica's used to playing on diamonds, but if she's used to playing at like the Bridge Inn or someplace like that over there, uh, it's it's going to be faster than what what you got over there at Carol's. Okay, so that was our fourth game of eight ball. So we got two more of those, and then we'll switch over to nine ball. Kathy gets into him a little more solidly this time. She makes a, makes a ball. Looks like she has a shot at her suit. Actually, everything is relatively open. The only real problem is the eight ball really only has... Well, that's a terrible line. <laughs> the eight ball really only has this line going over here. Now things just got wonky. So Jessica now with solids. Maybe play the four off the nine to open the pocket for the one. Or the five, that works too. Great, nicely done. I think she actually got in that window where she can hit that six. Draw back a little bit for the one. If she doesn't like that, she can play the six, 12, or I'm sorry, the three, 12, six combo. Because I think the six is gonna fall in off the point or off the 14. And it uh, looks like she might agree with that assessment as well. 
Now that does not open the three, so if you're going to send it, I think you do got to send it with a little bit of pace to get that three out of there. Because otherwise, yeah, it gets tied up there. And the eight ball blocks a uh, pretty good bank on the three from here. You don't want to move it right now because it, it's causing a problem for the other balls. So if she's going to try and get it all the way out here, I think the pattern is going to have to be maybe shoot the two, then maybe bank the three up here. Well, that's a moot point. And then, uh, yeah, hope that you get something on the eight. Kathy's got some issues here. This is where you real strong eight ball players have a, a pretty strong advantage, like you strategic players, right? Because you come up with ways to solve problems for your suit while causing problems for your opponents. You know, I mean... Like, I kind of want to get that, what is that, the 15 or the 12 out of there, off that end rail. She's looking for a bridge. There we go, we got one. Yeah, she can just maybe just bank this ball out and leave the cue ball kind of stuck on the three, or just on that rail would be all right. Now she's just leaving Jessica the two ball. And that might be okay because the three ball is still problematic. But now Kathy's balls are in a place where she could run out. Jessica could still get there. She's going to need a really good shot on the three ball. Okay, so I'm guessing here, Kathy's uh, four, uh, 15, 14, you know, 12, 13, one of those, something like that. Or she'll start this half the table, I guess, and then do four, th uh, 15, 14. Uh-oh. Ouch. Oh, no. She got into a place where I don't know that she can even hit either ball. It's no good. Can I have one of these in here, Jimmy? Good speed, good thinking. She just take over that pocket for the eight ball. Now Jessica's gonna try and come up with um, something else to do here. Thank you. 
neither one really wants to move the 3 or the 14 until they absolutely have to. And I think Kathy's got the angle where she can do that now, right? Play the 14. She's stuck on the rail, so I don't know that she can dump the 15 and then come straight across. Or you can maybe put some juice on it, maybe try and run into the 3. I don't know if she's got that from here. She did not, and she left it in the place where Jessica can get that ball out. Cuts it out nicely. Now she's going to need another good shot here for the get from the four to the two or the two to the four. Oh, she overcuts that one again. She hit the two though. Now Kathy's going to have, I still don't think the 14 goes clean, so she'll have to play the 15, then the cue ball's probably going to jump off the uh, 14 a little bit. Just going to hope for a good little roll. But we'll see. See what happens. She can hit it clean and just draw back. Yeah, see, she moved it off the rail a little bit. I, I think she's going to be okay. It's a bit of a thin back cut. She's trying to figure where this cue ball is going to go. If she's able to hit it real thin, maybe with the hair of inside English, just kind of check up off the rail and come back out here. If she can hold it, even if she comes all the way over, that's not terrible. Yep, nicely done. Because the other option was just letting that cue ball fly all over the table, and it gets uh, a little scary. There's holes out there. She did a good job. Talked herself into it, made up her mind, stayed down. Kathy extends her lead, 4-1. to one, And this will be the last game of 8-ball, and then we'll move over to 9-ball. They might take a break between sets. Look at us, and they're gambling, and Kathy's saying this is what you should have done on that side. Like, they're coaching each other. I love it. The camaraderie between, like, female players versus men players is outstanding. Or the difference in the camaraderie between the two genders appears to be just monumentally vast. Right? Just in general. Now, obviously, there are, you know, like Brendan and his opponent will constantly, uh, not constantly, but they will commonly coach each other in the middle of the thing. Like, you could have done that. You could have done this. Sometimes they'll do it even before they shoot, depending on how long they've been playing. That's always nice to see. 
Also, did my chat die or just nobody said anything for 12 whole minutes? I think maybe my chat feed died. There's no way all you guys have been quiet for 12 minutes. I know some of you guys out there like to talk a lot. Just want to make sure I'm not missing things. So if you guys are asking me questions, I haven't seen it. I may have to refresh the page to find out. Hello. All right, well, because nobody said anything, though. That's just weird. <laughs> you guys have me scared for a minute. I'm like, what happened? What's going on? Did I put everybody to sleep with my uh, radio voice? I could make it worse. I can go into full-on late-night DJ mode. It's a little early for that. There we go. Nice, Mark. I like seeing stuff like that. Incidentally, the uh, the guy in the wheelchair I was thinking of, his name was Mark. I think. But different Mark. Mike Halpin, what's up? Russell, I sure can. So the lady in the kind of green shirt, that's Jessica. Oh, you know what? I didn't get to throw up her player card yet, so I can I can do that. And the lady with the uh, shorter brown hair is Kathy. Obviously. Oh, Quentin, get out of here. You know you're playing Justin later tonight. At 7.30 sharp. All right, her seven ball is a real problem from here. I think she's got the angle on the one. Um, if she fires that ball in and comes up underneath it, opens a seven, and then the four is probably the insurance ball. Never mind. She had no intention of firing that ball. I wonder if she just didn't want to make it and just take over the pocket. pattern there is, except for the fact that, you know, her opponent's balls have four balls around the eight, so she obviously can't get out. She wasn't going to try and force anything to happen. So at this point, right, just force your opponent to do something, make a mistake, leave an opening. Um, Kathy looks like she plays pretty good eight ball, so she's not too concerned about, uh, or rather I should say that she's probably not going to fall for that trap. Except now, almost all the stripes are surrounding the eight ball, and that's uh, that's a little tough. Kathy is the one winning. <laughs> Damn, Quentin. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't know how helpful that is, though, to somebody. So with ball in hand, Kathy might try to get a couple balls open. I think it's worth the risk to go ahead and try and get a couple balls open. I think she needs to look at that 915 a little more because if that if those balls are wired, maybe play off those and get something. 
On the other hand, if this is pointing to this point and she's coming at these balls this way, that'll throw that 15 a little bit. Oh, she just was took it out of there. Okay. There you go. One one thing at a time. Tom, Jessica's wearing the uh, Fud Pucker shirt. Yeah, so Kathy is uh, the sleeveless one, and Jessica is the sleeved one. Oh, so Irvin, you know Mark. Okay, I got you. If you're local, though, um, I, I think it's Mark Elders. I think is his name. Do you know him? He's the other other guy I was thinking of. Um, I still don't have a name for the uh, the one guy that doesn't have an arm. I'll have to ask. I think uh, I think Jimmy might know him. I think he came in and played with him the other day. All right, Jessica got her last problem ball out. Um, the eight ball is still a problem for both people, although Kathy might have the advantage with that because it's her ball surrounding the eight. Um, she might be opening these balls right now. She could draw out of this, though. She doesn't have to hit it. She played the combo. Yeah, she's not messing with it. She's going to play smart. Oh, Kyle, yeah, Rosenberg. Um, I haven't seen him in, gosh, I haven't seen him in a very long time. He essentially plays one-handed. Um, he uses his other arm kind of as a bridge from time to time, but he plays pretty dang good for uh, for how he has to. For the last game of eight ball, we're seeing a lot of moving back and forth here. Yeah, Mike, that thing's been posted by a whole lot of people. Which is interesting because it looks like it's a Facebook feed, like a Facebook video with the little live counter up top there. But I didn't think that that guy streamed on Facebook, question mark. And that's okay. Oh, little ball in hand. Like, on one hand, I think, okay, you don't really want to solve all of the problems. You don't want to open the eight ball. But, like, why not maybe just take one of them? You know? You can peel that nine off, which does open the eight to the same pocket that the nine would go to. But it's still, you got to get on the right side of everything. Now she's got the angle to go into these balls here. Now, I don't know if she's going to, but she does have the angle to do it, and she should have the insurance ball of the 15, unless something goofy happens. Okay, a little bit further away. Oh, goodness. Who are these guys walking in? So Kathy came out about as bad as you could have from where she was. She's got a uh, bank on the nine in the side. She can slice this 15 down the rail. 
she's going to, what, just play off the 12 and try and use the 9 to block Jessica from the 7 and the 4? Not try to. I think she did. Nicely done. And left her on there. Yeah, I know there's so many memes about that, right? Using With ball in hand, shoot a combo, but her other ball didn't go. The four was there. Like She managed the rest of it pretty well. Sometimes it's the right shot, just not often. You could argue either way at this point. All right, with that four ball hanging, you just got to get yourself to try and kick into a scratch. She's got the edge of the seven. Oh, she got it. Don't tie up, don't tie up, don't tie up. Okay, seven on the side. Don't get hooked behind the nine or the 12. And now you should be golden. If she can hit the nine full, that would be ideal. Or even the 12 would be full be even better. But yeah, okay, nicely done. Might need a bridge for this one. All right, she gets it, and that concludes our eight ball section. So now we're going to nine ball. They may or may not want to take a break. I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. Neither neither lady uh, smokes, so they're not going to take a break. I, however, am. I, my coffee's empty. I need something else to drink, and I'm going to go get some of our uh, homemade tea that we now have around in the shop. So uh, I'll be back in just a minute. Hang on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
Guys, I'm back. Think we're uh, still in the first game of nine ball. Kathy's got the first good chance to get out here. Nice little. I'm good. I just got a cup of tea. Nice job getting the ball off the rail. A lot of people want to hit that a little bit slow and they end up froze to the rail and it's no good. All right, she's just waiting for the player next to the table to get out. Thanks for the update, Chris. All right. Kathy gets the first nine ball. She needs four. Jessica needs seven. Could be an entirely different game when it comes down to nine ball. Now, I did warn both players. The table's been racking a little funky. I did tell them they're going to have to be a little diligent with the rack. Uh, there's a couple of divots in that spot. We've replaced the spot. And then I think some new divots formed. And uh, this table is going to be replaced in about 10 days. So unfortunately, it's not really worth us uh, recovering it to just get rid of it. Um, so we'll see how this goes. She's happy with it. I don't remember. Okay, she hits the rack pretty square. Maybe a little too much high English on the ball. Kind okay, of shooting down there. She doesn't make the wing. These are long distance combo. One, three. The two is hanging, so if she can just control the, uh, the cue ball a little bit, not let the one ball go too far down table. She's got a, a lot of room, right? When she cuts this in, she's got this whole side of the table. Oh, she went that way at it. It's not uh, what I thought was going to happen because this happens. And now you got the one ball way down away. But same kind of deal. If she can cut this in, she's got the whole table to work with. Maybe play the one at the back of the two. Okay, no. I think... I don't know that Kathy's got an edge here. Don't think so. And that ball is pretty far off the rail to try for like a rail first hit. Could be tricky. Looks like an edge might be peeking out. I don't see any spin lined up on the cue ball. 
She did have the edge. Nice shot. Now essentially the four balls hanging. The four, five, nine, seven. I'm sorry, the five, six, nine, seven could be interesting. She's gonna miss the pocket. Nice. She has choice here. She can go forward three rails or back two. Whichever she likes to get an angle in the five. But you can't go that far. You never really think that a ball right here goes all the way back when you cut that in on the side. It's crazy how often that does happen. But you just got to hit it a little less draw and let that ball come this side and then that side. So now with ball in hand, she'll have a good option. She can... Uh, if she doesn't like her chances of breaking out the seven, she can play a safe. Uh-oh, springy rails. Yeah, she hasn't quite got the speed of the table down. I like the idea, though, because if she stayed high on this ball up here, when she cuts a six in, the cue ball goes into the nine, opens the seven over there, and I'm drawing right on her hair. But uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, just play a nice little safe. Yeah, you can tell she really needed to spend a little bit more time just getting the speed of the table. I thought she might have had an edge for the six. That's a pretty big back cut. And even if you do back cut it, even if you get a look at the seven, there's nothing too great going on with that. But she's going to go ahead and just kick at it. Try and leave it for Jessica to solve. I think she's going to come up a little short with this line. Oh, no. Good shot. Oh, no. On the hole. So now with ball in hand, right, with the cue ball like here, with the six in the side, let the cue ball right in there. She's got a different idea. She's just going to try and stay underneath it for like a shooting stick, maybe, was the plan. Well, that'll definitely hold her. She should be snookered by the nine after this. What's up, Brandon? Bergman's in the chat. He was. Says he's coming for you and Colby. 7.30 sharp is what he said. What's this? What Danny's here? It's not even five. Gee whiz. Yeah, Ronnie was here saying he was supposed to play Ross, too. Like, everyone's waiting to play Ross. Like, how many games is Ross working on? Oh, I don't like going at it this way, but she's at the table. She ties it up. And well, yeah, I thought she might have just feathered that ball super thin light and uh, just going around the nine.
Oh, what a shot from Kathy. And she gets a nice little reward here. That was a strong shot. She gets that one to wobble in. Chris, this might be a silly question. Which Joey? Talking about our Joey? Fast action Joey? Or Joey Gray? Or some other Joey? See what Kathy can do on the break. I really like to see Jessica get some more opportunities at the table. I feel like we're really not seeing uh, a representative performance here. Okay, nice break. Uh oh, got the nine ball kind of hanging, and she got she got a little safe here. Now, I think they are playing push out, and if I'm Jessica, I'm making this nine so that thing spots up instead of trying to kick at this. Now, I don't know if they are. She's going to try and swerve around this three. Doesn't get a good hit. Which means Kathy's going to make the one and the two and get a line on the three for the three nine. I think she can do it from here. The two to the three's got some traffic though, like that, uh, she doesn't have to go for that combo. I mean, the way the balls are sitting, it can be truck, tough. Uh-oh, she jars the two, but it's going to fall in off the nine. Um, she doesn't get a great combo, but you know what? The carom is there. Now, she's elevated on the back of the four, but the carom is there. Um, otherwise, she could, she, if she wants to run out, she could bank the three and then continue her run. But I, I think the carom is probably what's going to happen just like that. It's going to hang. And Jessica is looking at a long distance combo from here. Now, if she doesn't want to deal with that, she could actually bank this three right at the nine. And I think that's probably the best move from here. If you're going to shoot a combo, shoot one that wins the game. Oh, didn't go at it. Um, nearly scratched. don't think Kathy has the same bank. She can just cut this one in and then make the four and then shoot the five, nine. Or just fluke it in like that. <laughs> Holy cow. This is a great cut on the three. And that, I believe, is going to put Kathy on the hill.
So yeah, I think I'm going to chalk this one up to Jessica's first time being here. Um, she's not used to the table or the environment. And uh, maybe just a little bit of too much, too many unknowns, maybe some unfamiliarity. She struggled with the speed of the table a bunch, and uh, it's cost her some games. Twelve, twelve, Rob's break. Sounds like down there we got uh, action down on Poplar Bluff. Bunch of action going on down there. We also got uh, a bunch of action down at Sputz Place, too. We got a bunch of our regulars playing in there. Old Josh Palazzolo put it on Brady in the, to start the day. That was kind of a surprising turnout. Okay, look at this layout. She can figure out this one to the two. That would be nice. And uh, I'd like to get real straight on the three for the three, four, five. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell she's a little... She's not playing, you know, how she expects to play, and you can see it. Kathy. Yeah, going into nine ball, Kathy was up four to two. I was wrong about the hill, though. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is both formats. So it's just a combined race to nine. Oh, God. Like that, that was a good save from Jessica. Like she can get the table speed down. She just is having trouble managing it when it comes to uh, certain shots. But I like this. This is good with ball in hand from where the two ball is. It makes getting straight in on the three pretty nice. I'd like to see her give herself a little more angle so she can see her shoot a stop shot on the three. She wants to get off this rail. I'm a little surprised by that. She's going to have to just float this one in. Right? Because now, well, she can use the nine to stop her cue ball for the five from where she is. That's okay. Whoops, she needed to hit the nine full. Now, let's see. Decision time, offense, defense. Okay, that works out. Kathy's got an edge of this ball. Doesn't bank anywhere. So you might see her uh, just kind of run straight into it, maybe cut a little bit, send the five back down table. Put the cue ball behind the six, maybe. She didn't have the speed right on that one. Oh, no, she cuts that ball all the way down the rail and finds the side pocket. 
That's rough. That's super rough. Four ball out here with for Kathy with ball in hand. Get relatively straight on the seven, shoot the eight in the left side, lead you right to the nine. Nicely done. She got a hair of an angle, maybe? So I, w I wouldn't want to like power stop shot this, right? Have a nice slow stop shot. Okay, good job. Chris, they got to be done with that. Who won? Afternoon, Kit. How you doing? Who else is out there? Yeah, David, that's that's crazy. That's going to be a meme for quite a while, unfortunately. And, uh, if that's what Billy Thorpe wanted, that's what he got. Apparently the mullet memes weren't enough. Now he gets to uh, have another one. Nap time kit already? Looks like Kathy's going in. Yep, up and down the table. Maybe too much spin. Oh, stays just above it. Oh, nice and a full write up, Chris. Thank you. Look at that. Joey wins. Hill, hill. Holy cow. Kathy hangs the nine, and uh, she's not going to make Jessica shoot it. Robert Lyday, what up? Yeah, Kit, take your nap. There's a chance we're going to be here a while tonight anyway, so it's okay. At uh, 6 o'clock tonight, we have another ladies' match in Kanika versus Trish. Kind of like taking a nap. Yeah, that's fair. Both uh, Fronick and Dan knew the league operators are taking a nap, trying to do their paperwork. Got the stream on in the background. All right, Jessica's breaking nine ball from dead center table. She gives herself a good rack. She lays into him pretty well. She makes the corner ball, but finds a way to put the cue ball right in the side pocket. So, ball in hand. What are we looking at here? Three, four combo. The two's hanging. All right, she needs, uh, she's got to bounce out. Somewhere around that line where she is now from the two ball to get a good shot in this 3-4. I don't think she wants to go into him. Nicely done. The nine ball can get big here as a blocker. Yeah, there it is. Maybe she's got an edge, but I think it's probably going to be rail first here. Nope, good hit. Yep, rail first it was. Nicely done, and somehow finds the way the nine ball gets back in the game again. Holy cow. Yeah, you 
So she kicks at the five, comes up short. Now, come on, Jessica, with ball in hand. Yeah, it's fine. Stop shot there is fine. Stop shot on the seven is fine. It's got to play the eight a little bit. That's good. One rail back out to about where the cue ball is now would be ideal. Play this nine on the side. Or you can leave it a little bit long. Oh, she went around it, going rail first on the eight. It was a little risky because uh, you end up here. All right, bear down and back cut this ball. Nicely done. All right. Jessica's got to feel good. It was a nice little four ball run to maybe get a little bit of confidence back. Start getting moving a little bit. See if she can make an adjustment on the break here and uh, keep the cue ball on the table. Yeah. Well, she got the table wide open. She did make an adjustment. She went to the other side pocket with the cue ball this time. It's really not a bad looking table here. Two to the three, you're just gonna look out for the four. After that, maybe the six to the seven. Now when I say things like that, I'm talking about, uh, you know, like ideal kind of stuff. Yeah, I would not try to come above the four. I want to stay, yeah, like that. Maybe come up a little bit because I don't want to go around the table now. But she can be okay, right? She can go and like draw off this three and come back out two rails for the four. Yeah, just like that. But she uh, way overhit it. Still not terrible though. Top right corner, draw to the side rail, back out for the five in the top left corner. She's close to the rail though, it makes it tough to put a good draw stroke on it. She might just try and float this in and go past the five and shoot the five up table and bring the cue ball down for the six like that. She's gonna hang the four. Yep. So here's where I do like the idea of going rail first if she has it so she can uh, come back up and shoot that five on the top left. Unless she wants to just punch it a little bit, shoot the five on the side, but then you don't really get a good angle to get to the six. Oh, she's able to reverse it off the rail. Nicely done. And this is a nice natural angle too. She can get up on the six. Yeah, 
She runs into the eight, though. That could be a little problem. Really thin cut on the six leads to maybe a seven nine combo. She cuts it in nicely, and yeah. She overcuts a little bit. Kind of leaves Kathy uh, a little bit obstructed by the eight as far as like bridging. Not terrible, but it's a long shot. Oh, okay. It's not actually in the way at all. Well, maybe it was. It's going to leave a similar shot for uh, Jessica, though. Just gonna make sure to make that seven. Really, she just needs to just make the eight. She doesn't really have to play a lot of shape here. There's only uh, a few places you don't want to be. And she did that. She did leave herself a pretty tough one, though. It's long and the cue ball's on the rail. Nicely done. See if she can uh, make the third adjustment, find that Goldilocks zone, and just pop that cue ball right in the middle of the table. All right, it stays up. Yeah, I just heard that. Here's the keys from Jimmy. Yeah, old place, new place. I need 40 bucks. I, I, uh, I, 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 I,
dollars on you? I got a hundred and something. I don't know if I got a hundred and sixty. I got an ATM that owes me money without a three dollar fee right here. All right, so Jessica's fighting back. I like it. All right, what's she looking at here? The side pocket gets a little goofy. If she can hit this with like a nice, just a hair above center, let the cue ball go forward to the rail with a bunch of spin and let it come back out here. That's a touchy little shot and um, it doesn't come up a whole lot. If she doesn't like that, she could draw it over here and just kind of kill it a little bit. That's an option. She could also, I think, this ball banks right between there, and then she could just draw her ball back a little bit. That could be an option. Let's see, she's going low. Yep. She decided to go around it, and she did so. And she might have sacrificed accuracy in the ball for her position. Afternoon, Doug. Going for the bank here, maybe a little two way safe. Oh, she's gonna get the safe. Nicely done with the cue ball. That's out of my apartment. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so like I'm trying to, you know, get it figured out or whatever. It's just more, it's super cheap, it's inexpensive, it's cheap to feed the kids. Like, all I gotta do is buy cheese. And all right, good hit from Jessica there. She's gonna leave it uh, a little bit tough and long. One lucky thing, I don't have kids that want mac and cheese and hot dogs all the time, so I try to force feed them all this other good cheese. Yeah. We'll get out of here. Oh, nice thin cut. See you, Mike. 
Very likely. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I mean, I got half a calzone from the other night that I can heat up, but I need to get to it at some point. All right, nice shot from Jessica there. She's going to use the speed of the table to her advantage, bounce off, off that end rail. All right, nicely done. Are you fucking kidding? You don't want to play Robbie? Told you, Robbie said I can do that. I don't think I ever felt like Robbie was going to do that. I feel like he's putting me in tough games, you know what I mean? Go back to bed. All right, we got ourselves a little match here. I like seeing this little fight back from Jessica. That's good. <laughs> All right, she made another adjustment on the brink. She's getting that corner ball to go in nicely. Just letting that cue ball travel down table maybe a bit much. Oh, what's up, Chris Zimmerman? How you been? I feel like I haven't seen you around in a little while. Hope everything's okay. Kanika and Trish are at six. No, it's just five. That's what I was saying. I thought you would have went home and took a nap. I think you should. You look dead tired. There's no way you're not falling asleep. You try and stay throughout the night. Yeah. It's all right, though. What's up, Drew? Pulling for your teammate, Kathy. Yeah, she's looking good at the table. <laughs> All 
All right, what's Jessica looking at here? She's got a one rail escape. Chance to make it. Chance to get safe. Turn it ugly a little bit. Five ball is still kind of buried. I think there's too much angle. If she plays, tries to play this in the side, I, I don't think the cue ball opens the five. Where's mine? You're just giving it out. I'll take some. <laughs> oh my, what the, what just happened there? You know, that was a heck of a try by Kathy. Kicks that five ball in. Tangeline goes Watch right it, in over there. Right here. Yeah, Drew, he can read. He's just not on the mic yet. I'm doing bigger and different stuff. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, bigger and different is true. Oh, no. She joined the eight. She's going to get... Uh, I don't know what Kathy can do with this. Yeah, that's rough. Well, the thing is, if this eight ball is frozen, there's a goofy yeah. bank on it. And uh, you could do something with it, but I, most people don't know it. I don't think she's got it. She she tried to swerve See, around, I mean, yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Yeah, like it was so Instead close. Of, like, like spinning it in per se, but yeah. Yeah, she just needed to elevate the back of her cue a little right, bit more right. to get a little more swerve on it, and then she would have been fine. Um, but this should secure the uh, tying. Uh oh, uh oh, this is this got weird. <laughs> She's like, I didn't think I hit it that hard, but it's crazy uh, how hard you hit a ball. Yeah, my, she missed it on a real good side for sure. Yeah. Hang on, Ronnie. All right, never mind. All right, Kathy's got a bank or an attempt at a safe. She banks it right in. It's pretty good. <laughs> what a move. I didn't even want to, but I just ate two so you wouldn't get so one. So I wouldn't get one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that? All right, so that bank puts Kathy on the hill. She's taking a little bit of a break real quick. Uh, let's see. What do we got going around the room here? That is not the right scoreboard, so don't sweat that. Uh, these guys are playing banks. Uh, I don't know either of them. One guy is called Nod. Mike Pascaroli or something or another. Don't know him. We got, uh, oh, geez, I got to update all these scoreboards. Bill Harwell and uh, Jimmy Orr playing a little one hole. Colby eating an ice cream in the background. But uh, that's our whole place, guys. That's it. That, that we got the five little tables. You can see the whole place. You can see three-fifths of our place here in this one shot. We got this nine-footer here. There's a bar box behind it and the valley over there in the corner, which is uh, 
short for this world. Screwdrivers, and all the other shit. That's not ball, yeah. This thing had square bolts in the frame, it had flat heads in the pockets. All right. Kathy's on her way back. So, so you guys know, whenever this set is over, uh, I'm going to restart the stream when our next one goes live. Which should be uh, should be in about an hour. Um, I'm waiting for Kanika to get in the building. Trish is already here, and Trish and Jessica are good friends. So she Trish showed up early to uh, support Jessica. But uh, whenever that match gets started, we'll be good to go. But I'm gonna. Stop the stream between those matches because uh, there's probably going to be uh, a good amount of downtime. There's nothing really going on here outside of the place. Got some people sitting around, some guys talking. Nothing really going on just yet. Oh, she's got the nine ball almost hanging. She comes up dry and safe. Are we working Monday or Tuesday? I Oh, she trying to swerve around the ball, but couldn't get by the two first. Now the four eight's a little tied up. Ball in hand here with Kathy. I don't know that she's got uh, a great option. From where the two ball is, I can't really see where she's at right now, but let's say she cuts the one here, runs the cue ball into the four and eight, splits them, and then your, your two ball is kind of your insurance ball from there. Um... I think I like that. If I'm trying to get out, that is, right? I mean, if you're really, really trying to get out, you can do that. Um, unless she likes the 4A combo. I mean, the 4A combo is manageable, and it just comes right down here. So, I mean, that could be a thing. But she's going to have to try and get underneath this 4 ball. And from here, you need a, a real good stroke to come around. For that way, or she could try this again. Oh, she went that way at it. So she took the side pocket completely out of way, and she opened the seven. What a great shot! Now she just needs to uh, solve this four eight problem. She can play the six seven combo with that nine ball as a backboard. For it, Karam on the side, I think is there as well. I can't tell how much space there is between the balls. Um, yeah, I guess she didn't like either option. She tried to play a little safe here. It could be dangerous. I think Jessica, I don't know if Jessica's going to be able to hit the eight to draw off it. If you miss the eight, then just go around the table. Um, she didn't really... I don't. I feel like she should have took a little more time with that shot. She could have figured that that out maybe a little bit, but uh, she had other options. Kathy's going to play the four seven. It looks like. Oh, I was wrong again. Man, I'm not seeing the angles that. Uh, players are playing today. I called a bunch of them wrong. But she runs in the eight and gets herself a little bit of trouble here with the five. I don't think she can uh, get over there to play the nine.
Probably some sort of bank. I think the five's too close to the rail to try and play a uh, split around the eight. Okay, so she double kissed off the five. It's over there. What's going on here? Now you got Harlan's in there and Joe's over there. Somebody told a funny story, I guess. I don't know. Jessica's going to get a real nice safety out of that. Nicely done. <laughs> Kathy got herself in a little bit of oh she's doing the mirror system for the kick over here she needed all that space <laughs> she had to pull that that uh, ghost aiming point like three feet off the rail that could be tough but it worked she got a good hit look out cue ball stays on the table now, I don't like even considering that the nine is there, but the five seven is pretty manageable. You can't just float this in because if the five sits behind the nine, the cue ball's at the end rail. That's no good either. Put a little move on this thing. No, she went at the nine, or she just overcut the five. I don't know which. Nicely done there, blocking the six. Kathy protecting her hill game nicely. She just misses it on both sides. All right, Kathy, ball in hand, four balls on the table for the match. I like that choice to not try and go down table, not bring the eight into play, and just make sure she gets in that window between the eight and nine for the seven. Speed sensitive shot here. Little bump on the nine holds her in place. She can go forward, run rail back out towards the nine. So, Drew, essentially the USAM format is a race to seven with a mix of eight ball and nine ball. Uh, they're just going to nine to extend it a little bit. All right. There is your winner, Kathy Ogile. Comes out on top. Jessica made a great fight back. Uh, Kathy was up seven to two at the biggest wide. And... Uh, Jessica pulled it back within 7-6. So she really fought hard. So yeah, good match. 
Thanks for playing, ladies. Thanks for everybody for joining us. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a break here, wait for our next match. Our, our next scheduled match is going to be uh, Kanika Neal versus Trish Dahone. And they're supposed to start around 6. Uh, only one of the players is still here, so we're going to hang out a little bit and see what's going on. There isn't anything else going on right now. So... Uh, I don't really have like another thing to go on. We got guys just kind of hitting balls and talking and telling stories. That's about what we got right now. Yeah, Anthony, it was. She fought hard. And uh, I think if things were, you know, extended or a little bit different, it might be something different. But that's going to do it for us for right now. Um, look for us to go live again, I would say probably in about an hour. So give you guys time to get some dinner, take a nap, uh, do whatever it is you want to do. We will see you all in just a little bit. Thanks for watching. <laughs>